Welcome back, everyone. I have something really exciting that I'm ready to share with you guys today. This has been about a year and a half in the making. I've been working with Ralph Gibson on this idea that we've had, and I am ready to finally invite you guys to our first live event, which is going to be called Studio Dialogues with Ralph Gibson. This will be a live thing that we're going to be doing on Zoom, and this is going to take place on Saturday, September 2nd, and it is going to be fun. So for the last year, Ralph and I have been talking about this idea of the studio visit and what that looks like. And this is something that photographers and artists have done traditionally. But what does that look like in 2023? And the whole idea of doing this on Zoom and doing it virtual means that we can get to more people. You don't have to travel to do it. We can get to question and answer. It can be interactive. It's going to be a lot of fun. The whole idea is that we're going to have a conversation in Ralph's studio, and this will include major themes, ideas that have kind of permeated throughout his career. We're going to talk about some new work and some new projects that he's taking on, and we're going to do a show and tell also. I have been to Ralph's studio before, and I am can testify that he has some amazing stuff in there. So all of the information is up on my website. I will put a link to that in the show description below this video. Here's a QR code if that helps some of you. This is a paid event, and it will happen in in two parts. So the first part is actually going to be on Saturday, August 26th. This will be an orientation session that you will do with me here in this studio. And we're going to basically make sure that cameras and mics work and the connection works and everything. And it's a great opportunity to do a Q&A with me. I'll be hanging out for a while. So if anybody has any questions or anything they want to discuss, we can do it live. Then on Saturday, September 2nd, I will be in New York at Ralph's studio and we will do our studio dialogues from there. This is going to be an incredible opportunity for anybody who's ever wanted to see behind the scenes with Ralph and what went into a lot of his early work, how he works, what he's going to be doing. As I mentioned, I've been to his studio. It's really amazing. This is something we've talked about for a long time. I think it's something kind of unique to do this whole idea of a virtual studio visit and open it up for everybody to come along and enjoy with us. For those of you who may not be familiar with Ralph Gibson and his work, I did a series of videos about a year ago when his Refractions 2 book was being launched. Refractions 2 is an incredible book and it's a whole insight to his philosophy, his way of thinking from day one into where he is now in his career, which has spanned 60 years plus. And it really is an incredible book. And we did a series of interviews around that that we filmed at the printer uh, in Pennsylvania. And I will link up to those if you want to see those or if you want to see them again, if you've already seen them. Uh, it was some of the better interviews that I think I've done on this channel. I'm really proud of the way they came out. On a personal note, Ralph Gibson's work had a huge impact on me as a photographer, especially early on. This is years before we'd ever met. It was around the time that I was shooting pictures and I was really getting serious about photography and I wanted to know more. And one of the things that I used to do is I would go up to the bookstore and I would spend half the night up there. And bookstores were a little bit different in those days. But the reason I would do that is because they had shelves and shelves and shelves of books. And I was able just to pull stuff down and I was looking at who people were and what the work was being done. And it was past master stuff like Henri Cartier-Bresson or Ansel Adams or W. Eugene Smith. And then I was looking at contemporary photographers who had monographs out as well. And one of those photographers that I ran across early on was a series of books that they had by this guy named Ralph Gibson. Ralph's work had an enormous impact on me in the way that I thought as a photographer. And the thing that I loved the most about Ralph is I was looking at contemporary photographers, people who were alive and working and shooting today, and typically that work fell into two categories. So you either had work that was gallery work, so it was super safe, it was very approachable, the aesthetic was very friendly, or you had super contemporary work, which was pretty far out. What I love the most about Ralph's work and what spoke to me was that he was able to bring in this language visually of all the past masters that came before and bring it into his own style and his own voice and take it in a spin that was very contemporary, but it wasn't strange or far out. It just made sense. This was a guy who clearly had something that I really wanted to get as a photographer. It was, it was what I wanted to go for, and that's kind of where that track started with me. So speed up to 2008 or so when I started making videos for this channel and especially early on I was just sharing stuff that I enjoyed that had influenced me and I did several videos on Ralph Gibson and I analyzed his work a little bit and basically communicated what it is that I liked about it and several years later I ended up meeting Ralph when I was in New York City for a gallery show and we met through a gallerist that he was working with in Paris at the time Thierry Bignon who was a great guy. Uh, he had reached out to me said he watched 
watched my videos and I wake up, I go to the show and the next thing I know I'm over at Ralph's studio. They extended an invitation and I was very nervous because I had talked about Ralph's work publicly and my own analysis of it and I was really nervous about maybe how he'd respond and it turned out we hit it off and became really good friends and that friendship extends to this day. I've been able to study with Ralph uh, personally and he had an enormous impact on my work and when you study with Ralph and I hope you guys get a little bit of this out of the studio tour, it's not so much how to look like Ralph Gibson, it's how to look at your own work and it's how to take your own ideas and develop them further and start uh, wrapping into your own visual signature and how to bring that out and let that mature. And so Ralph is, he's one of the greatest photographers that has had an impact on me, but he's also an incredible teacher. He doesn't define himself as a teacher, but uh, he really does have a lot to share. I know this is getting long-winded, but I did want to mention what an impact Ralph has had on me, and I hope you guys will choose to join us on Saturday, September 2nd for the studio visit. All the details are in the links, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.